to be something I'm not? Trying to be proud of my African heritage? If that's being something I'm not, then fine. But I'd rather be dead than be like you. Stuck-up nigger who's ashamed of being black. My grandmother was a full-blooded Iroquois. A full-blooded Iroquois. Yeah, Indians, niggas, same thing. DNA is based on modern people. That is correct. We're not looking at um, ancient DNA. But if you're... Um, 73% North African. My, my dad. I was not expecting 8% Africa. 8% Africa. Southeastern Bantu. That's awesome. The autosomal DNA, you will understand that you have it completely wrong. Really, I thought it was the other way around. And when the white man say he come out of Africa, As you guys can see here, I'm only two ethnicities according to MyHeritage.com. I'm very confused about this. Um, it says I'm 82% North African and I'm 18% Iberian, which is Spanish from Spain. Um, um, my results showed that I was 1% Native American when I did mine. But his actually shows that he is less than 1% Native American, which was the biggest shocker because I know when I was speaking to you, we were under the assumption that he was Choctaw, I believe. Yeah. Choctaw Indian. Right. Uh -huh. You were under the assumption that he was Choctaw, I believe. Yeah. Choctaw Indian. Right. Yeah. Choctaw Indian. Right. Uh -huh. So according to this, it's saying that he's less than 1%. Um, so I don't know necessarily how ancestry works. If maybe it skips someone or maybe he's just not Indian at all. He's definitely heavily European as we can see, <laughs> um, a, a definite mix of European as well as uh, a mix of various African countries as well, which is typical for someone from the region of Louisiana that he's from, or just Louisiana in general. Look how they find out all this information. Come on now. But I don't care what they mean. And they, they got it mixed up with somebody else. Hi, I'm Ross Curtis with the Ancestry DNA Science Team. And we get a lot of questions about our Ancestry DNA ethnicity estimate people dive in and try and understand what it means and figure out what it means to their personal journey as they try and discover who they are. And so today I'd like to dive in a little bit more into the science behind this estimate. And hope that this will help you understand a little bit more how to interpret your results. So in order to understand what's going on with your ethnicity estimate, let's talk a little bit about the reference panel. This reference panel is a collection of people from around the world. We have 26 different regions where we've collected sa DNA samples from people who have a long history in a particular region. Once we have these samples of people who have spent a long time living in that region, then we can make the assumption that their DNA is representative of people who have lived there for a long time. Then we can make the assumption that their DNA is representative of people who have lived there for a long time. Then we can make the assumption that their DNA is representative of people who have lived there for a long time. Millions of people buy DNA test kits curious to learn what their genes might reveal about their ancestry. But how accurate are those kits? Well, we tested some of them using identical triplets and quadruplets. Lisa Guerrero has the results. Let's see how the Maynard triplets did with their test from Family Tree DNA. According to the kit you took, these are the results. They all showed British Isles ancestry, but how is it that the range was so different? Aaron had 59%, Mandy 66%, and Melissa 70%. And how is it possible that Mandy showed 6% Scandinavian ancestry, but her identical sisters showed none? But her identical sisters showed none. That makes no fucking sense. <laughs> That's weird. I mean, I don't like it. It's the oh, exact that? no result at all. Same DNA that they test. Now that we have the DNA from those reference panel individuals, we can compare your DNA to that reference panel. So that what that means is that your ethnicity estimate is our best guess of how much ethnicity you have from each of these regions. Finally, one other thing to think about when you look at your ethnicity and compare it with your siblings or your parents 
is that even if we could do ethnicity perfectly, that wouldn't mean that you would have the same ethnicity as your siblings. That doesn't make any fucking sense! Like, my heart is really, really pounding right now. Like, I, he, my dad's not Spain or Portuguese. Neither is my mom. He's not... Uh, like, my heart is really pounding right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just going to end the video right now because I don't even know what to say. And I really want to call my dad. So I'm going to end the video. Three hours later. It was, um, I wound up calling my dad and I told him all about the results. I sent him over. Um, he doesn't think that I'm his daughter. When you sign up for one of these tests and you click on the agree to the terms of conditions, you are giving away substantially all of your property and privacy and legal rights to this DNA. Look in the room that you're in, you will see that I'm a member of Alpha Phi Alpha. Uh, there's, there's no, I have no issue with that. I'm not Greek, I'm an African. 73.1% North African. I have no issue with that. I'm not Greek, I'm an African. I'm an African. I'm an African. Okay. 16.4% Iberian, which looks like Spain, Portugal region. 4.2% Nigerian. I knew it. And the b don't even know me. Let's continue, oh great niggerologist. Enlighten us. Is black people, richly melanated people, talking about that they native to the northern regions. So you, if you believe that we have um, lineage with West Africans because they were taken from here, then you would see their connection to people are, who are here in a time frame that fits the DNA that's mapping. It started as a back to Africa movement for freed slaves. In fact, the constitution was written in Washington and Monrovia, the capital city of Liberia, is actually named after President Monroe. And it became a state in the 1840s. Brother Washington, your mitochondrial DNA is quite common among the Mende and Temne people in Sierra Leone. Yeah! <laughs> the freed slaves go back to Africa and promptly enslave the native Africans. The freed slaves go back to Africa. The freed slaves go back to Africa and promptly enslave the native Africans based on the plantation method they had learned in the U.S., which lasts for about 140 years until Samuel K. Doe, the first native African-born Liberian, was elected. If we did see that, then what you're actually saying is that those people in West Africa are actually also American. Black people did not just come from Africa. Black people were already in the States. And people got to do their history to understand black people were already in the States. People don't know that, though. God, I can't stand this. Try listening to understand, then I promise we can all gather. But don't tell me that I'm racist just because I say black lives matter. You say black oppression ain't real just because you never learned about it. Come get all these smoke. Buckle up, let's talk about it. Cut the bullshit, cut the cameras. Sick and tired of the double standard. Big corporations wanna pander just because they don't wanna give us slander. We had enough and we want some answers. Doing this one for the ancestors. I got the drive of the black mama. Fight with the heart of the black panther. Stop listening to bullshit from Fox News on your big screen. Black on black crown, 30% of the population, yeah, bitch, please. What was that energy for these bitches trying to sleep with some kids on the 16? What these sick fucks that randomly saw the people when the AR-15? They call us criminals when the whites do 69% of the crime. It ain't got shit to do with race. Goofy is called proximity crime. Bigger the city, the higher the poverty, you get a higher percent of the crime. It's the media keeping you black, stopping your race to get with the time. So all the white folks not racist, I got nothing against you. I ain't holding you responsible for no...
I've never understood this king and queen crap. Because kings and queens are generally descendants of those who have stolen most effectively from others. The Queen of England did not create anything. Her people went all over the world, took other people's stuff. And she's living off of the proceeds of the stuff her people took. She's no better than me. She's no smarter than me. I'd love to be a queen and live off the proceeds of other people's stuff, but I don't. I made my own life. And I'm not just saying the queen of England, the king and queens of everything, Africa, all over everything, are just typically the descendants of those who stole most effectively. And that's why I don't understand why everybody wants to claim kingship and, and, and queenship. I don't understand. I just say, judge, call it a day. I worked for that.